What about quantum computing? People talk about that. Is that something that I should be looking at investing in? I've made a lot of mistakes, you know, betting on these new technologies like uh, AR, VR turns out to be not so big. 3D printing turns out to be not so big. My estimate is $100 trillion was invested in today's dollar in the PC CPU-based infrastructure. All this is going to get ripped out to put $100 trillion or more in our GPU-based uh, infrastructure. In that sort of quantum of numbers, I feel that the quantum computing is going to be very small. Now, hedge fund investors who invest around the globe, and you invest around the globe, but more in the U.S. probably than around the globe, but uh, you always are worried about, I presume, geopolitical uh, events. So are there some geopolitical events you're worried about right now? Yes. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason, I love thinking about black swans. And at the office, everybody thinks I'm weird because I'm always thinking about what can go wrong. But underpinning uh, the AI is the chips. And the chips, despite the, the CHIP Act, which I think was a, a good idea for the U.S., I still think like 80% uh, or so of the capex of TSM is in Taiwan. And so at the leading edge, a lot of capacity is in one very small area. Forget that it's just in China, it's in a very small area. I think that's very risky. Um, NVIDIA, which has a, now the highest market cap, is it dependent on production in uh, Taiwan so that if China were to invade Taiwan, would that really adversely affect NVIDIA? Um, I think it would adversely affect uh, NVIDIA. It would adversely affect the stock markets around the world. It would adversely affect everybody in this room. If this happened, we, we, we think this could be obviously a very uh, significant event.